Hello friends, Stacey Anfinson here with your Tor Report Market Update on September 12th of 2023. I figured it'd be a good time to go over some, provide some perspective. Uh, the current mortgage rate landscape is above 7%. A lot of people freaking out about it. The national press having a fit with it. Uh, a lot of people uh, thinking the world is going to end. So I figured this would be a good time to uh, go over some economic and demographic markers uh, the last time. The mortgage rates were above seven uh, percent, so that was really December of two thousand. It's seven point three, so it's about twenty three years ago. That's a long time ago. Main news events of two thousand, for those of you that don't remember, uh, the Supreme Court certified the George Bush victory over Al Gore. Uh, the Fed changes course from fighting inflation to warding off recession. Isn't that interesting? Uh, now they're fighting inflation and don't really. I guess they do care about the inf uh, recession, but. Really, their number one goal is to fight inflation. Uh, this is a shock. There was U.S. budget surplus in, in 2000. Boy, have uh, Congress screwed that up. Uh, the Rams then in St. Louis won the Super Bowl. Michigan State won the NCAA hoops. And Oklahoma won the NCAA football. Here's some good uh, economic markers. The average price of a new car in 2000 was $21,850. Uh, year to date in 2023, it's 48008 and a price of a gallon of gas in 2000 was at a buck 51, and year to date is it at 356. So uh, we showed this side, slide before. Uh, Wake County has been the beneficiary of net inbound population. If you look at where it was in 2000, it was uh, around 633,000. It's just under 1.2 million now, so that's really a total population increase of 541,754 and 86 percent so we are really blessed with all these people moving in here uh once again the the home builders are doing the best they can if you go back to 2000 they issued 12,193 permits during the year and in 2022 uh, they've issued 17,961 yes we do need them to do more but uh, it, they do kind of get thrown under the bus with everybody uh, out there saying there's not enough inventory uh, that they are providing but this graph illustrates that they are doing such now, here comes the problem. We all know this. Uh, we've been over this slide uh, continually. This is Wake County TMLS annual resale listings added on a per month average. So back in 2000, uh, just a little bit over 1100. And then we start here at 2019 and uh, 2019 was really the peak and then it's gone down every month since then. And through the first eight months of this year, we're only at 1126 per month. So actually we are at a lower per month average in 2023 than we were in 2000. And oh, by the way, I remember all those people that have moved to the area. So that's a big problem that we have. Uh, here's a really uh, interesting slide. The, the TMLS average sales price in 2000 was uh, 223 and year to date in 2023, it's 623. So housing is really going up. Um, and here's the big shocker for, for those and it's a bit of an explanation as to why we don't have inventory. Um, the average monthly principal and interest payment back in 2000, applying that 7.3% rate to the average sales price was a little over $1,500. And here to date during this uh, year, it's a little over 4,200. So the monthly nut for home ownership has gone up uh, big time. Uh, the other thing I tried to find out is, is when interest rates go above 7%, was there a shock to the market? Well, back in 2000, I, I looked at the average sales price in 2000 versus uh, in December of 2000 versus the average sales price in November of 2000. It only went down 5%. Uh, for this year, though, it was a bigger, uh, looking at August 2023 uh, versus July of 2023. That's a 20% drop. That's, uh, uh, or, I'm sorry, August of 2023 versus August of 2022. It didn't go down 20% in one month. 20% compared to that month a year ago. Now, if you remember, uh, that was kind of the, the last peak month in terms of pricing in the market. Uh, the end of the third quarter and the fourth quarter, we saw prices go down. So, uh, in my opinion, the interest rate did have a big shock, among other things, uh, in terms of the average sales price comparing it to the same thing. So I'll wrap it up with just the facts. The average price of a new car and a gallon of gas have doubled comparing August of 2023 uh, with December of 2000. Uh, the average sales price and the monthly PI have almost tripled, so they didn't really keep track of that, uh, keep pace with that. Wake County population up 86%. Uh, the year-to-date per month average of new sale listings, new resale listings is the same 
as it was in 2000. Uh, the per month average of closed listings at two, in 2000 was at 1748. The per month through the first eight months of 2023 at 3866. So a lot of this may have been viewed as negative. The last two bullets are going to be really uh, positive for you, and, and that's certainly good. And that's uh, that 3866 average is indicative of the people moving in here. But for those of you in the brokerage business, this is really uh, your life raft. The total dollar sales volume during the first eight months of 2023 is up 7x compared to the same period in 2000. So that's all we've got for this time. Uh, for further information, I uh, suggest that you visit www.tarreport.com. Uh, reach out to me if you like subscription information. Please hit the like button on this and subscribe to the Tarport YouTube channel. And we thank you for listening, and we will see you next time.